There has been a ton of focus on prompt engineering these days, and most of this work is aimed at getting one single prompt to generate the perfect result. While it's important to get each prompt to perform as well as you can, I've found that using a sequence of prompts generates the best, most reliable results. By chaining prompts together, you can achieve complex reasoning and overcome many memory limitations. I now have a library of dozens of these prompt sequences or prompt chains that help me do everything from cooking to creating these videos, and most of them are available to my Patreon supporters. However, for months I've been feeding each prompt of these sequences into ChatGPT or Claude manually. The whole time I've been thinking that there must be a way to automate this. I recently got this working. I'm incredibly excited about all the possibilities it opens up and I want to show it to you today. Okay, so here is my caveman programming approach. It starts with just simplifying the problem down to its most fundamental part, then feeding any errors you run into back into ChatGPT to update the code, and then finally feeding in parts of the documentation that might help. And what we're struggling against here always is that ChatGPT's training data ends in 2021 and a lot of the fancy stuff that we want to do has come after that. So for me to create a prompt sequence, the first thing that I wanted to do was just to be able to create a script that ran one prompt through and we're going to be using Google Collab for this. I think that is the caveman programmer's best friend. I have a video on Google Collab getting started, the quick start guide to that, which I'll link to in the description. All right, and in order to do any of this, you're going to want to make sure to have your advanced data analysis turned on. If you're not seeing this, what you've got to do is open up your side window, click on these three little dots, go into your settings in beta, Beta Features, Advanced Data Analysis, make sure that is turned on. And from there, you should be able to turn on this Advanced Data Analysis feature. And then you can just begin this prompt sequence that I went through here. So can you help me generate code to run GPT-4 prompts in a Google Collab? And we'll get to Google Collabs here in a second. And it returned here, certainly, to run GPT-4 prompts in Google Collab, you need the OpenAI API, etc. It gives you an explanation of what it's doing. It's installing the packages. It's allowing you to put in your API key, and it's giving you this little function to run. It puts it all together in this concise bit of code, which you can just copy and paste into Google Collab. So to get to Google Collab, you go to collab.research.google.com and you will see something like this will open up. Again, I have a whole quick start guide to this that will walk you through all the components of Collab. I recommend you check that out. For now, you just want to start a new notebook and you copy that code right in here. So this was directly what ChatGPT put out there. And the only thing we need to update here is the API key. So I am dropping a burner API key in there and I'll be deleting this key after I publish the video <laughs> so don't try copying it and we will run this and see what happens. So you can see it's connecting to a device there and really what Google Collab is Basically, it's just an environment to run Python on Google's cloud there, so you don't have to set up Python on your local machine. And it has installed everything, and it says, Bonjour le monde. The prompt here, you can see, translate the following English text into French. Hello world. And it has successfully done that here. Bonjour le monde. But... The problem here is that it's using an old model. This is the Text DaVinci 002, which is a very old model. What we want to do is update that to GPT-4, and that's where I started to run into a lot of difficulties because when you put in GPT-4, which is the name of the model, in here and run it again, we're going to get an error here. There you go. So this chat model is not supported with the V1 completions endpoint, etc. I'm not a programmer, so I didn't fully understand it. So I simply dropped that error back into ChatGPT. I'm getting this invalid error. I apologize for the confusion. It tries to fix the error, but it doesn't know about the new model uh, GPT-4 because its training data ended in 2021. So I tried a few things and it was not working. I kept getting errors. So I started looking in the documentation for OpenAI 
and I came across this. I was pretty sure this is what that error was talking about, this chat completions API endpoint. But I couldn't really fix it on my own. So I just copied and pasted all of that from the documentation straight in here. Here's some documentation. Can you update the code based on this? And this is exactly the documentation, the chat completions API. I knew I was in the right place just based on that error message. Any of the errors that you're running into, a lot of them are because the training data ended in 2021. So you want to find some of the newer documentation and see if you can't copy and paste that in to chat GPT. And again, I dumped in quite a bit here. So after providing that documentation, it says, thank you for providing this. Based on this information, it looks like the model's taken an array of messages. So there's a whole new way of doing this now that it was not familiar with. It updated that code and it, it pulled in all the code that I needed. It all now started to work brilliantly. And then I wrote, hey, this works. Now my ultimate goal is to build a script that I can submit a chain of prompts to. For example, the first prompt might ask for a list of ideas. The second prompt may ask to rank those ideas best to worst. And the third prompt might ask for details about the winning idea. Instead of doing this manually, I'd like the script to do this. What would be the best way of achieving this process? And since it already had in its memory those functions that we had worked through, it created this brilliant script that now works very well. And so here's the example sequence for this chain of prompt sequence that we're going to be going through. The first prompt is just generate a list of business ideas. Prompt number two, rank these ideas from best to worst for someone who is non-technical and loves the outdoors. And prompt number three, tell me more about the number one idea on this list. So you can't really get one prompt to do all of this very well. You could jam it all into a prompt, but it's not going to go through the thinking and the reasoning that it will when you break it out into these several steps. And again, this is a simple example, but when you get into this, and if you've seen my other videos, a lot of them are just different prompt sequences. It can get fairly complicated. So this is the final script that it came up with, and I'll have a link to this available to all of my Patreon supporters where you can just grab this and start chaining prompts together as quickly as that. But otherwise, you can use the process that I have gone through to create this prompt sequence. So this I've broken out into a separate little window. This just installs OpenAI, imports OpenAI, and then you put your API key in here. And here are the prompts that I spoke about here in this function. Step one, idea generation. Give me a list of business ideas. Step two, idea ranking. Rank these ideas from best to worst for someone who is non-technical and loves the outdoors. Step three, detailing the best idea. Tell me more about the number one idea on this list. And you can see that ChatGPT first, this is now using the GPT-4, the most advanced model that we have. You can see that right here. And it goes through and it generates these ideas. It generates, what, 20 ideas? And then it goes on to step two. Here are the ideas ranked. I have this based on a non-technical person who loves the outdoors. So it starts with food truck, personal fitness, event planning, etc. And then step three, give me the details on the best idea. It says, okay, let's talk about this food truck business. And it goes into how to start a food truck business right here. So this is pretty exciting. You're, you're actually getting it to reason much better when you're breaking out the steps. You are getting at a problem with the context window where it's not forgetting things. You're just feeding everything back in each time. And this is very easy to update with whatever prompts that you have. So I have, again, a lot of different prompt sequences in my Patreon. All of my videos up until this point are basically different types of prompt sequences. So you can just update this. So you can just click it, run once and it goes through all the different prompts in the sequence. And there are ways to improve the reasoning here that I won't get into. But I think this is pretty exciting. I'm going to be doing a lot with this in the future. And a few things that I want to be working on here, modifying the script so that you can simply upload a file that contains all the prompts in your sequence. Google Collab will allow you to do that where you can just upload a file. I'd like this script to look at that file and automatically then go through the prompts in that file. It might be just a text document uh, with all the prompts in it. That's one of my next steps here. Also, I'm really excited to get it to a 
adjust this so it can use multiple different AI systems. For example, Anthropics Claude is really good for writing. Perplexity AI is good for research and ChatGPT is good for reasoning. So I envision a day fairly soon where I'll be able to create a script that uses, hey, plug this prompt into Claude and get the output from Claude. And then if we need some good reasoning, we then pull that in, put that right into ChatGPT. And if we need some research, we put that right into Perplexity. And this is all happening automatically, not copying and pasting it manually, but just one recipe where you just click run once. Maybe it's around a different keyword or it's around a different uh, idea and it just runs through a successful prompt sequence. I think this combined with some significant increases in prompt engineering is really going to open up a lot of doors for this technology. So I really appreciate you watching. I hope you got something out of this. I have this script, this collab available in my Patreon for all my Patreon subscribers. If you want to just jump in there and start using it, I've got dozens of other cheat sheets in there. I've got some coaching options in there. I'd love it if you check that out. It helps me keep this uh, channel going. Again, thanks for watching. Obviously, please feel free to like and subscribe subscribe and comment all that stuff really means a ton and i'll see you on the next video just do it make your dreams come true